and that's where I'm landing with this and I'm a big fan of this. So in terms of strawberry protein powders, Welcome to Price Plow. What's happening, Price Plow Nation and Nutribio fans out there who like to train without compromise and take supplements without compromise? This is Mike Roberto, founder of PriceFlow.com, and today we're taking a we're gonna take a look and review the new Nutribio 100% whey protein isolate strawberry ice cream flavor. Now, this is the award-winning protein shake that is super duper clean fully disclosed, third-party tested, as always with Nutribio. But, the, but Mark Glazer of Nutribio is, is talking a big game about the new flavor systems. They're getting, this is, this is our test to see if they're for real, they are getting aggressive on the flavoring. So they had an old wild strawberry flavor. I think there's still some stores out there that have it. And Mark is saying that this is a thousand times better than that and they're getting after it. And what's cool is that with these formulas, since they're fully disclosed, we could, te we could tell right off the bat that there's 720 milligrams of natural flavors inside here. So this is going to be a, a much stronger flavor system. And uh, you might as well roll through the whole label. But before we do that, let's make the lawyers happy and tell you, yes, PriceFall does have a business relationship with Nutribio because they sponsor our site a lot. Okay, so and this stuff was sent for free. So I got to let you know that uh, now oftentimes in our protein butter reviews, I kind of wonder, like, should I do a one-off scoop right off the bat, opening it, giving the smell test and have an initial reaction? And for a lot of products, that might be a good idea for me. First off, I received this on a Saturday and I couldn't wait to fire up the camera, so I have been running this for a while, but I also decided that I don't think protein powders should be taken one off all the time because you wanna be able to run through a whole two pound or even five pound tub of something, and it takes like five or six good servings before you can make that decision in a review, in my opinion. And so I have been running this, and I'm happy to say so because I kinda, on the third scoop, I kinda nailed what flavor I think this really is, and, and, that's, uh, and so that's what I'm gonna be doing for the time being. Now, what's awesome about this, this is the whey isolate that's for the purists out there who want very, very clean. Now, on top of the full disclosure and all that, you're gonna, you know that you're getting, with each scoop, you're getting 25 grams of protein in a 30.08 gram scoop. That's 80% protein by weight. I think it's over 80% protein by weight. Now, a lot of the other proteins out there are not even 80% protein by weight before they add the flavoring. This is 80% after all the flavors and thickeners and stuff. And they, they, they tell you all the stuff that's not in here. Might as well tear through the label right now. The cleanest protein on the planet. No fillers or excipients, no protein spiking, no proprietary blends, no inferior proteins, no ion exchange whey, no acid treated whey, no maltodextrin or dextrose, no added carbs or sugars, no artificial colors, no hidden ingredients. And I can go even further here. There's no dairy creamers here. There's like no creamers like that at all. And uh, there's like no guar gum either. There's one thickening agent and that's the xanthan gum. And so there's like less and less stuff in here for a lot of people who have sensitivities out there. And that's why this is popular. Now it's 100% whey protein isolate. And isolates, they do have it as a smidge, smidge, smidge of, of lactose, the milk sugars. But in general, whey protein isolates uh, themselves are about 90% protein by weight and they filter out all the carbohydrates and milk sugars, the fats, the ash even, and all that, all those impurities. But there might be just a tiny, tiny little pin drop of uh, lactose in there. So if you're violently dairy sensitive, you still might not want this, but if you're just like lactose sensitive, then I, I think you can handle this. Now the, the, we're gonna talk about the strawberry ice cream flavor. Uh, other than that, we have 110 calories and 25 grams of protein, two grams of carbohydrates, and there should be, uh, this is funny. Am I, am I going crazy here? There's no fat. Oh boy, Mark. So there's zero grams of fat, but I still think you gotta put fat on the label. Yeah, all right, this, this video, this, things just got interesting here. All right, so on top of that though, with full disclosure label, 720 milligrams of natural flavors, we know it's gonna be good. Then xanthan gum at 230 milligrams. So he's going all in on xanthan gum. That's a corn-based thickener and gumming agent. And I like that. Actually, we have someone in our family here who is uh, sensitive to the guar gum. And we kind of sometimes look for only xanthan gum-based uh, based products, and this would, this would hit it. 
uh, the little bit of salt. Sucralose is only 60 milligrams. So we, you know, when, when Nutribio has to open up their labels, they kind of hamstring themselves because you know some of these other products, they I, I think they have a lot more than 60 milligrams of sucralose. Let's just put it that way. And so they have to play it clean. They know what their customers want. There is HK at 50 milligrams, and then some beet color for uh, beet beet powder for the color at 80 milligrams. So fully open label. We don't have any junk. Just pure cold processed white protein isolate. In fact, I think they, they even tell you that's 28.74 grams of WPI 90 yielding 25 grams of protein and it is CFM cross flow micro and ultra filtered cold processed. All right. And it's instantized with the sunflower lecithin. That's what's in the, uh, the protein, the WPI 90 protein blend. Woo. Okay. So I do have my trusty new trab is dying here. I'm, I need a new shaker guys, new trab shaker cup. But you know, what? honestly, we only need six ounces of water. I like these labels because they show you nice and easy. One serving, six ounces of water. This thing's too big. So we're going with the small guy right here. We'll also do a little bit of B-roll so you can see the, the close-ups and stuff. But there's no doubt about this. When you smell that, that is a very sweet smelling strawberry that comes up. And it smells like a lot of other strawberry ones do. The good thing is though that there's, um, there's enough flavor here that it kind of covers up that weird whey taste and smell that you sometimes get. So that's why that's what's exciting me because that's some of, the, some of the stuff that they hadn't done in the past, and now they are completely masking over that that I'm just gonna call it that weird whey smell. And now what we should do though is first get over to camera B, do a scoop weigh in, and uh, the first time I did this on the worst food scale, it came in pretty good. But let's find out. All right, let's tear that scoop out. And this pack's not too light, not too heavy. It seems like a pretty standard packing. 28.2. So you, you know what? You can pack it pretty tight to get your 30. Let me go a little harder here. There we go. 29.9 grams. That's a heavy, hard, uh, heavy, hard scoop. So you just got to pack it pretty tight. All right. So I have my scoop 29.9 grams away. I end up getting so very close. The, uh, this room is just like smell, sp the, the smell of strawberry candy is kind of like developing in this room, which is, which is kind of fun. Now we'll do B-roll, so I don't need to get too crazy with this, but what you'll see is the red beet color kind of coming on through. And that mix is pretty clean. And it's thin, it's a whey isolate with 230 milligrams of xanthan gum and that's that. And some uh, instantized sun sunflower lecithin that makes it happen quickly. It starts dispersing as you pour it in there. So I'm not getting any chunks. I shook it pretty good and, uh, and I'm happy. Now let's go for the, the smell and the taste. The smell is, it smells honestly like any other strawberry protein powder out there. The, the strawberry protein powders, and I'm not, I should probably have said this earlier, I'm not the biggest strawberry protein powder fan. I, you'll never see me buying one. I, it's, I, I'm a chocolate vanilla and maybe some specialty kind of flavors. Strawberry's never done it for me. But the smells are always, uh, the smells are always okay. So it's the taste and the aftertaste and how they handle it there. And then it's sweet. It's good and it's strong. Like if you see, we recently did a strawberry protein powder where it was like weak and it was supposed to be weak. It was a thicker kind of weaker flavor. This is strong and the aftertaste comes back and hits you in the front of the mouth. And that's where the strawberries start to like, it, it, I don't say they blossom, but they, they, they hit you and it's very good. Now here's what's weird though. I've noticed this every time. Take my sip and I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it. I want more right after that aftertaste comes down. It is the third sip though. For whatever reason, there it is. It's the third sip where this totally blows up and it gets stronger. So it's a building kind of, it's a building kind of protein powder. And then on that third sip, it's like, it's there, it, it hits its critical mass. And so I find that so enjoyable, but now I'm, I'm already done with half the shake. And so this is a thinner isolate. If you, you either got to two scoop it or you got to go with like a little, a little bit of water and a small shaker. And that's how these isolates work, especially if they don't have a ton of stuff in them. Now here's what's funny about this. And some dieters may want to watch out. 
every single time I've taken this, and today's gonna be no different. Every time I've taken this, I've needed a second scoop because I'm, I'm still kind of hungry. That's, you know, first off, it's only 100 calories, that's nothing. But I'm like still kind of hungry and I'm still kind of curious. Like I want more of this. And it's almost like dangerous because for me, you'd be spending twice the money. I, I did, yeah, I got this tub for free and everything, but I'd be like, geez, I'm gonna tear through this tub twice as fast because I keep wanting a second scoop. And in fact, today, I'm gonna shoot some B-roll in the next room over and I'll probably drink that too right off the bat. So that's where, that's where I think it's really good and I love it, but it's almost gonna cause you some trouble if you're the same as me. Now here's the thing with the flavor though. I, I honestly haven't had strawberry ice cream for that while, but this is not what I remember uh, for strawberry ice cream. Instead, do you remember those strawberry candies that have the little strawberry bumps on them and then they have the gel inside. The, and we'll put, we'll put a picture up there. Brad will find it. They got the little red and green wrapper and you undo that little plastic. And then you have the bumpy stuff and it's a jelly candy. That is what this tastes like. I figured it out on my third, third or fourth try. And I was like, this is that strawberry candy to me. It's less strawberry ice cream and that jelly awesome strawberry candy. And that's where I'm landing with this. And I'm a big fan of this. So. In terms of strawberry protein powders, there are better ones like Syntha 6, let's be honest, but that's got 15 grams of carbohydrates in a scoop. As far as Nutribio sticking with their guns, 60 milligrams of sucralose, 90% or WPI 90, 80% protein by weight, I don't think you're gonna beat this. The other uh, recent isolate I've had with strawberry was uh, Myobox, but that one also had, it was a, uh, that one had stevia and, <laughs> I didn't, I still got the tub sitting there. I didn't get it through it. It's not bad. It's just not this good. But we're talking stevia. So everyone who's going after ultra clean, you need to make the decision how ultra clean do you really want it? And do you consider sucralose legal in the ultra clean game? For me, 60 milligrams of sucralose is nothing compared to some of the other stuff we're drinking. So I am totally cool with it. I, 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 you know, I've said many a times, I'm not convinced that stevia is that much better for the gut microbiome when you're like using this really strong stevia bittersweet sweetness. I'll take the sucralose in ASK personally. That, that's me. Now, if you want it a little bit thicker, one thing I've been doing is I've been adding a little bit of MCT oil to it. And uh, that even that's a good way of thickening it up, and so that also adds you know the fat back in for the people with the high fat diets because this is just going to be a this is just a, a rocket of, of just 25 grams of fast digesting protein. Other than that, I don't think I have a whole lot more to say. We're gonna have to find out, but yeah, they got the uh, we'll show this all up. We got the amino acid profile disclosed. You got the third party lab test. You got all the stuff that NutriBio is doing. But what I think is most important, even as someone who's not into strawberry, and if you're not into strawberry, I'm not gonna say to go get this because. I don't think this is gonna make a non-strawberry believer into a strawberry believer. If you are a strawberry fan though, I think you do need to try this because this is as good of a clean strawberry as you're gonna get, in my opinion. So th that's what I have to say. Well, what I'm more interested in, or what I'm more excited about here is the fact that Nutribio and Mark Laser, they're coming in hot with more flavors and they are gonna redo a lot of stuff from what I understand in the next five months, because right now it's November of 2018, in the next five months, they're gonna come out with over 40 new SKUs. I don't know how we're gonna cover all that, but they're gonna come out with over 40 new SKUs. I think they're stepping up the flavor game big time. Mark Lager is a guy who never wanted flavors, and he's finally figured out, listen, we care about flavors. What can you do? If you're gonna give me a strawberry shake, I want it to taste like this. And that's that. This is Michael Berto, founder of PriceBlaw.com. Thank you for watching. Strawberry fans, gotta check it out. Non-strawberry fans, just wait and see for what else Nutribio has coming. We'll see you next time. Subscribe to the channel. Price.com slash Nutribio is where you can see, uh, sign up for our alerts on Nutribio stuff because of all those new, new SKUs coming out. But also check out the Nutribio story and the videos and the interviews with Mark Glazer that we did in 2016 because they're still awesome. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Welcome to Price Plow.